Welcome, this is Dan Havey, and today I want to jump in here for a couple minutes, talk to you about a program I've actually been working on for a couple of years. It's actually was made up of three parts, and what it was was when I was doing my funnel code training, I did a bunch of training on how to use the dev tool inside of Chrome. And the reason why you'd want to use a dev tool is because did you ever ask yourself a very simple question, how did they do that? You're working on a funnel, you're building a funnel, you're looking at other people's funnels, you're out doing your funnel hacking, you're doing all that kind of stuff, and you come upon a funnel and you go, oh my God, how did they do that? You're looking at a WordPress blog somewhere. How did they do that? This is a question that keeps coming up in your mind, and it's what really drove me to learn how to use this tool. Like I said, it's called the Developer Tools. You can find it in Chrome, Safari, and uh, Firefox. Uh, They all look a little bit different in each one, but they basically all still have exactly the same tools. But either way, it's called the Developer Tool, and It's what I learned in many ways to learn how to code. It's what I learned that I was going out and looking at other people's sites and I go, oh wow, how'd they do that flashing button there? How did they do this text with this underline in that certain way under there? And I learned that I could use this tool to inspect those elements and go, holy cow. That's how they did it, and then I could recreate it onto my site. And then in many cases, I would then turn around and teach other people how to do it as well. And if you're wondering what the developer tool is, what it looks like on your page, well, you're looking at it right over here on the left-hand side of my screen. Uh, Let me just move myself out of the way here for a little bit. But it gives you absolutely all the code. We're just gonna close up this little body here. It gives you all of the code that is on any single page. How it works is, so in the case here, we're looking at a ClickFunnels page. How it works is ClickFunnels has internally a software that they use to develop with. It could be any number of different kinds of softwares, but when that whole packet of that software gets loaded onto your computer, goes to your browser, in this case here I'm on Chrome, goes to your browser and your browser paints it onto your screen using a language known as HTML. Well, in that HTML, there are two main elements, a head element and a body element. And those have all the information in there of exactly how the person who built the site wants it to look, act, feel, do everything on a screen. So it all has to be there on the page. So anything you see in here, you see any kind of an animation, you see something moving on the screen, and you go, okay, There's some sort of code over here in this bunch of what looks like gobbledygook to you now. Over here, it's telling the computer exactly how to display that on the screen. And because it's here, I know that I can grab a hold of it, figure out how to put it into my ClickFunnels, and have it work for me. And that's what this training is all about that I made up. Now, I started to say earlier that I made it up in three parts. The first part was my uh, funnel code training where I go very in-depth on how to do code, CSS, HTML, JavaScript uh, for ClickFunnels. But then I also had two other opportunities to make two other completely different programs. Now, of course, there's going to be a little bit of overlap on these programs. But the other one was when they had the big push for ClickFunnels 2.0 last year, I said, okay, well, I'm going to give you a whole bunch of training on how to migrate from CF 1.0 over to CF 2.0. And so I did a whole bunch of training on that. And then also, then I'm also in the Funnel Builder Certification Program. And there was a lot of people struggling in there with the code, with figuring out how to, I mean, just how to do everything, including in one case here, a lot of times what they'll do is they'll give you a control and you have to essentially duplicate the control. So people were having trouble figuring out how to duplicate this control page onto their page, and so I put together additional training on how to do it. So if you look at here on my page, we have all the training here on the left-hand side, and for those of you who have seen some of the really cool membership sites that I've built, forgive me, I threw this together pretty quickly. So it's, uh, there's no bells and whistles in here. It ain't pretty. It's just pretty basic. But if you come over here and take a look at the training, down here at the bottom, this is the stuff that I did for the Funnel Builder Certification Program, and I refer to it as pixel hacking because I can take somebody's site and I can make an exact duplicate of that site, whether it's a 1.0 site, a 2.0 site, a WordPress site, anything else, I can pretty much make a pixel-perfect hack of that page. You put the two of 
of them over the top of each other and you can't tell which is which. And that's what this training can eventually get you to. Now, do you have to be as anal as I am? No, you don't have to be crazy like that. But if you want to, you can learn how to do it. But where you might want to start, if you decide to take me up on this offer today, where you might want to start is down here in the uh, pixel hacking uh, for the Funnel Builder Certification Program because this is more beginner level stuff. I even talk about using other tools other than the dev tools. I talk about using CSS Peeper and I think some other tools in here also in the uh, CF 1.0 to 2.0 migration, I talk down here about a bunch of different tools I use on a daily basis. So this isn't 100% about the dev tools. I throw in a bunch of other stuff because there's a lot of stuff you use other than just the dev tools on a daily basis, even though there's a lot of cool stuff you can do in there, especially when it comes to colors and gradients and basically anything you want to do, you can come in here. So here's the thing. So you, you find another site or you're building your own site and you uh, want to uh, work on the code. So you come into some code here. And so let's say we got this container right here. Okay. I can come in here now and I clicked on the container. So we see that it, uh, I'll turn blue in the background and now I can come down here to the CSS and I can just start typing in CSS if I want to. So let's just say here, we'll do something uh, simple. We'll just say margin top of 100 pixels and see, boom, and moved it down on the page. Now, if you're thinking for one second here, it's like, okay, well, I'm using somebody else's site. I'm looking at somebody's WordPress blog or something, and I'm going to start playing around with that stuff. I'm going to break their site. Well, the truth is you're not. All you're doing is you have a copy of the site that has rendered onto your browser on your computer, and you're looking at that. And this is just a static little site right there. You're not touching anybody else's site. It's just what you're seeing on your screen. But the cool thing is you can come in and you can on your site. I do a lot of times I'll do this. I'll put up, um, let's just say any kind of element and I'll put a box shadow around it. And then I'll come into the developer tool and I'll say, okay, what I want to do is see what it's going to look like with different shadows and different colors and all this. And there's a tool built right in here where I just click on it. It opens up this little dialog box and you can start changing that box shadow any way you want. And there's a whole bunch of different cool ones in here. There's ways you can change the degrees, the things are rotating and all that. These are all tools that are built right into the developer tool right here. So just to finish up what I was saying, so we started off with the advanced dev tool training here, went into all the training you need to know about how to set up the dev tools, how HTML and CSS works on your site. We go into code hacking, and I show examples of how when you put something, <clears throat> excuse me, when you put something onto your page inside of ClickFunnels, how does that change the code itself? So you can see the one-to-one -one relationship about, okay, I put this in here, it did this in the code. Okay, now I understand how that works, and then I know how I can use it and manipulate it once you know how it works. And so and then we talk some here about ClickFunnels 2.0, and then I get into a whole bunch more advanced, very advanced stuff down here at the very bottom. And then, like I said, I did the whole migration thing, and I go through exactly step by step how I took a funnel built by ClickFunnels in 1.0, including a whole bunch of extra code and everything else that they had in there. Um, and they had custom code, they had custom JavaScript, they had CSS, they had everything in there. I show how I took that out of 1.0 and built an exact pixel perfect match of it into 2.0 and this was like a year or so ago when it first came out and then we even go through like how to mobile optimize it and adjusting for space and stuff you see all the titles right down here and then like i said i got <clears throat> i got um the stuff down here i did for the funnel builder certification program and again this is where you might want to start because this is probably the easiest part if you're a new if you're a new person to funnel hacking if you're old hat at this you've been doing this for years you got a basic understanding of CSS, then you probably skip this part down here at the bottom and probably just begin 
right up here and you can see right now this video right now has been playing here and this is our getting started where I walk through everything you need to know to get your account set up where to find things to click on to adjust to do things like that because you can in this case here I have it on the left hand side of the screen but you might want to put it down at the bottom of your screen let's see if I can click on this I may not be able to Ness. okay well maybe it will let me so now I can put it down at the bottom of the screen so there's all kinds of different settings and things in here and I will tell you this right now, you are not going to use 1% of what this tool is capable of doing unless you are really, really doing a lot of really heavy intensive code. I used to teach this class, it was called um, Membership Ninjas, and in there one day I just off the cuff happened to say, I, I probably don't know how to use a tenth of 1% of how this tool works. And one of the students is like, wait, did you just hear what he said? And I was like, yeah, it's true. I, I know what I need to know in here, and that's what I need to know to be able to work with, to build inside of ClickFunnels, to be able to do my CSS, to be able to read the HTML, read the CSS, to be able to put in the JavaScript code, and all that kind of stuff. That's what I know how to do in here. There's the really, really crazy stuff. I'll leave that for the engineers and the people uh, working at that level. So like I said, there is a little bit of an offer here and I'm gonna make it very simple and, and very uh, quick here because I just threw up a little uh, quick sales page here and you know, nothing needs to be perfect in this world. And so I, I built out a little sales page here and I'm just saying here, learn to unlock the code. And if you want to discover the secrets of me, I consider myself to be a top funnel hacker, well, not so much, a lot of other people do, but you might want to jump into this program here, and you can see right down here, I'm purposely showing you this page right here on purpose, even though this video is going to be on social media and stuff, and it will also be playing right here, but um, the it's, it's 297 bucks. So you saw all the training you get, and um, what I didn't mention is I have been giving access to the funnel builder certification people that's why i built the training down here but i was giving them access to all of this uh for probably the last year and uh, being stupid me i didn't bother catching any testimonials from people but i will tell you there were a lot of people who were very appreciative of the fact that they were able to get access to this training because it really really helped them be able to go through the certification program and in the certification program, in case you don't know, there are 18 different funnel types that you have to build twice uh, in order to get through the training. It's pretty intense. And so this really helped to accelerate people so that they could get to the point where they're really master funnel builders now, where they're getting paid money, some cases big money, to be building funnels. And in many cases, they went through my training and it really helped them to be able to build it out, create a business for themselves, and now be able to start making some money. And I will take a small bit of credit for that because they also put in just tons and tons and tons of very hard work. So again, this is it. Read the screen. You already watched the video. And if you think it's worth 297 bucks, you know what to do over here. And that's it. As always, if you got any questions, just let me know. Have a great day.